right? So blood flow restriction band tricep blow up. So blow up. So got those blood flow restriction bands on both arms pretty tight. Um, getting blood through, flow through there, but not a lot. And the return, uh, not a lot. So uh, makes my muscles work in a hypoxic state, which is good. They think they've worked way harder than they have, so they will uh, regenerate and recover with bigger, stronger, faster uh, muscle, better able to work in a hypoxic environment. So doing 30 of these, the closer I brought my feet in, the more I could scale this, but I'm trying to really focus on pumping those triceps up. This is round two, so already feeling it. We're trying to get through this in maybe four to six minutes with those blood flow restriction bands on. It's not a tourniquet. You're not going to lose any anything, and plus tourniquets can stay on forever. It's a thing in law enforcement that we learn from military is use tourniquets, so there's no danger in these uh, except for potential overuse, so went heavy high rep blood flow restriction could be problematic we're talking about lightweight 30 reps two rounds that's not it's not high rep it's not heavy so really really safe uh, way to make your muscles recover well um, and think they've done heavy lifting without a ton of joint problems like my elbows lifting this 35 pound kettlebell not overly concerned uh, make that a 53 pound kettlebell now my elbows are going to get blown up so I'm doing 10 per side here could have gone even with a 25 pound kettlebell to get 30 in a row but I went with a 35 pounder and I switched it up so it was 10 left and right 3 rounds uh, that arm across the head is letting me brace my upper arm so that it doesn't move and I'm not pulling the weight over as much with the shoulder just locked in place there so that's why that position I'm not just swooning and pulling my hand up to my head I'm uh, purposely bracing the upper arm to isolate the tricep a little bit more you see I'm kipping a little bit but I'm a crossfitter I kip and it helps me get those extra couple reps so and then we move to the dumbbell kickback Again, isolating, trying to keep that elbow as tight uh, in position as I can so that it doesn't use the momentum to swing the weight up. I'm trying to use the muscle to bring the weight up. So, do 10 left, 10 right, 10 left, and right here again. And I'm really starting to feel the muscle swole. Body's doing a pretty good job of staying stabilized here, I'm not swinging it much. I know I'm getting near the end of this workout, so in my head, it's like, I can deal with the lactic acid feel that's really built up now as the muscle uh, is producing that lactic acid and it's not able to evacuate that site with the band on. So, it's a burn. It is a burn. But if you like the burn, you'll like these. If you don't like the burn, you'll like the effect of these. But it's really starting to pump up. It's how to make lightweight heavy. Two rounds of that. A little swole. A bit over 50. I'm getting there. I ain't hit my prime yet. Best is yet to come.